when i'm hovering my mouse on the text you see guys i'm getting nice border animation on top and bottom not only these guys if you master css before after you can create more beautiful animations with just css but the question is what are these before after pseudo elements so guys what if i tell you to add a paragraph on web page you lose html p tag and you'll add paragraph right likewise what if i tell you to add heading you'll write h1 or h2 and you'll add heading right but what if i tell you we can add content on web page via css without using any html tags so that is what these before and after elements guys these are the pseudo elements or pseudo selectors by which we can add content on a web page via css without use of html elements okay so enough theory let's create this animation so here i have taken a container and in that i have one span element which is hello and i have given a class hello to that okay and here first i have removed all the extra margin and padding and then i have taken container and applied flex on that because i want to center it and I, and i have taken height as 100 vh so no matter what screen size you are using uh, my container height should be 100% and for the hello i have taken a white color and font size as 20 pixel now let's go to browser and see yeah you see guys we got our hello text in the center okay now first thing what i'll do is that let's take hello right and let's write before so the syntax is two double colons and then we will write before okay and let's open curly brackets yeah so the first and mandatory property that we need to write is guys content because we need to tell browser what we want to add right so i'll write here content right and then i'll write here hi okay something now let's go to browser so yeah you see guys we got hi here okay that is what i'm telling so basically what we are doing is that here i have hello text right so if you use before and if you add any content that will come and sit here if you use after pseudo element and if you add any content that will come and sit here okay we'll talk about this position relative in some time but this is what the concept is okay so let's go to vs code yeah and now let's give some background color to it so let's write background sorry first let me give here this one yeah background and then let's write color and the color will be fc f6 f5 okay and let me go to browser uh, where is that yeah you see we got the background color right now what i'll do is that i'll copy this one uh, maybe i'll paste it here okay yeah awesome now let's change this to after okay let's change this to after yeah awesome now let's go to browser yeah you see guys we got hi and again we got the background color that we have given let me go to vs code yeah now so whenever we are working with any html elements first we need to know what type of element is that i mean i mean whether it is inline or whether it is inline block or whether it is block element right so guys by default before after pseudo elements are inline elements now what is the rule of inline element we cannot give width we cannot give height and we cannot provide margin and padding right so that is why we have to use display property and you have to provide inline block block or position as absolute or relative right based on your requirements now here what i'll do is that i will use position so i will use position and i will i will give it as absolute absolute okay awesome now let's go to browser you see guys our our before text is little bit overlapped on hello okay so let me go to vs code and now i can give width height top right whatever the positions i want okay so what i'll do is that first i will give width as 2 pixel maybe let's say 2 pixel okay and let's give height as 5 pixel something okay and now let's give a position as top 0 awesome now let's go to browser yeah you see guys we got width 2 pixel height 2 pixel but our before element went up and sat there why because i have given top as 0 and it is counting from this top position but i, do, I don't want that right so that is why i will give hello as position relative right if i give it position relative now this before element this before pseudo element will behave according to its parent according to its relative element that is hello okay so now if i go to browser you see it came back again here and it is in and it is in the top why because i have given top 0 it is 0 pixel away from hello top 0 pixel away from hello okay so now let's go to vs code and i hope you guys got the clarity now let's give one more property which is very important that is transition so let me write 
टी आर ए एन एस आई ट्रांसिशन ओके एंड गाइज दिस विल टेक फोर पैरामीटर्स और फोर वैल्यूज बेसिकली फर्स्ट वैल्यू इज ऑन वॉट यू वॉन्ट टू अप्लाई द ट्रांसिशन इज इट विद इज इट हाइट सो आई वॉन्ट माई ट्रांसिशन टू अप्लाई ऑन विड सो आई विल टेक विड ओके एंड सेकेंड पैरामीटर इज वॉट इज द ड्यूरेशन लाइक हाउ मच लॉन्गर यू वॉन्ट युअर एनिमेशन शुड टेक प्लेस और हाउ मच लॉन्गर यू वॉन्ट युअर ट्रांसिशन शुड टेक प्लेस सो आई विल गिव समथिंग कॉल्ड जीरो पॉइंट फाइव सेकेंड्स ओके एंड थर्ड पैरामीटर इज वॉट कैंड ऑफ एनिमेशन यू वॉन्ट ईज इन ईज आउट लीनियर लाइक दैट सो आई विल गिव ईज ओके एंड फोर्थ पैरामीटर इज वॉट इज द डिले दैट यू वॉन्ट युअर ट्रांसिशन टू स्टार्ट लाइक आफ्टर हाउ मेनी सेकेंड्स यू वॉन्ट युअर ट्रांसिशन टू स्टार्ट लेट्स गो विद लेट्स गो विद थ्री पैरामीटर्स ओके सो लेट मी कम डाउन एंड वॉट आई लूज दैट फर्स्ट लेट मी गो टू ब्राउजर या यू सी नथिंग इज चेंज नाउ लेट मी गो टू बी एस कोड अगेन सो हियर वॉट आई लूज दैट आई विल कॉपी दीज थ्री थिंग्स आई विल कॉपी ऑल दीज थिंग्स एंड आई विल पेस्ट दैम हियर इन द हाफ्टर ओके या लेट मी रिमूव दिस वन या नाउ लेट मी गो टू ब्राउजर या यू सी वी गॉट दिस टू पिक्सल हाइट एंड टू पिक्सल विथ एंड वी गॉट दिस हाई कंटेंट सो लेट मी गो टू वी एस कोड अगेन या नाउ देर इज वन स्मॉल थिंग गाइज वेन यू आर यूजिंग बिफोर एंड आफ्टर एंड वेन यू आर हैविंग सेम कंटेंट इन साइड बोथ यू डोंट नीड टू एक्सप्लिसिटली राइट ऑल दीज थिंग्स सो इन स्टेट वॉट वी कैन डू इज दैट आई कैन राइट कॉमा हियर एंड देन आई कैन राइट डॉट हेलो एंड देन आई कैन राइट हाफ्टर ओके नाउ दिस स्टाइल्स वॉट आर द स्टाइल्स आर देर दे विल अप्लाई टू बोथ बिफोर एलिमेंट एंड आफ्टर एलिमेंट एंड दिस विल नॉट बी सेम इन ऑल केसेज गाइज समटाइम्स वील हैव ए डिफरेंट स्टाइल्स फॉर बिफोर एंड समटाइम्स वील हैव ए डिफरेंट स्टाइल्स फॉर आफ्टर okay so now we don't want this one yeah you see nothing is changed now let me go to vs code again yeah so what we'll do is that let me give some extra width here 20 pixel and here also let's give 20 pixel right now let's go to browser yeah now you will understand what we are doing okay now next thing is let's take hello right let's take hello and let's write here before i'll take before and what i want to do is that let's take top 0 and then left to zero so i'll write left zero you'll understand that in a moment and let me copy this one and let me paste it here okay and after what i will do is that i will write here after and here i'll give opposite i'll give bottom bottom and here i'll give right okay yeah so the reason we are doing this is because let me go to browser and let me go to this image yeah so our before element should start from here right side zero on top zero right so that's why we gave before as top zero left zero and our after element should start from right zero and bottom zero so right zero and bottom zero okay so that is why we have given these styles now let's give height as 2 pixels and let's see let's go to design ones yeah you see it is like this now now let me go to vs code and let's give height as 2 pixel uh, yeah 2 pixel and let's remove this width let's give 0 pixel we don't want width and here also let's remove high guys let's keep empty so whenever we are working with any designs and when we don't want any content in the before and after elements we should just leave it like that okay so you see we are not seeing anything because we have removed the content right now the final thing is let's take here hello and let's write over here and let's take before okay before and comma dot let's take hello again and let's write over and then let's write after here okay and inside this let's take width as 100 percentile okay simple so basically what i'm telling is that when i'm hovering on this hello text before element should have width 100 percentile so first first width is zero right next when i'm hovering on this hello text After element width should be hundred percent L, and there is one thing, guys. Here we don't need top because we have already given top zero here. So let me remove this one, just to explain. I have written there. Yeah, awesome. Now let's go to browser. Yeah, you see, guys, when I'm hovering, you see we are getting this nice animation from top and from bottom. Okay, so before width is zero, but when I'm hovering, width is hundred percent L, and height is two pixel. Same. So let me show you once. Where is that width? Yeah. so for now let's take with 3 pixel okay now what will happen is that if i go to browser you see before is sitting on left side corner with 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 3 pixel and after element is sitting on right side corner bottom zero with with 3 pixel 
and when i am hovering width is becoming 100% l so basically this is what we are doing so if i go to vs code and let me remove width to 3 because we don't want to see that first okay so let me go to browser yeah you see we are getting this nice animation so this is about before and after pseudo elements guys i hope you guys got the clarity okay so i just have one small request guys if you found this video useful please give it a like and subscribe i'll see you in the next video thank you